Alhamdulillahi wa syukurulillah Praise only due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala At the center of creation At the center of existence At the center of life At that moment to moment in life journey aspect of that life it is anchored with the praise element rather than the blame element because we by nature incline towards the praise not the blame the moment we come to face any situation that set up that primary setup of existence that set up that untouch in its origin that first impact in that witness, witnessing that reality it is praise it's not blame if we step out Look at the night sky. Look around. The first impact that we will experience is not blame. It's praise. So the setup of existence is very much anchored with praise. Now to be aware of that and to be conscious of that and to pay attention to that and to hold that attention for a long period of time that's a skill because we tend to forget we know what we know but that knowing get carried away with something else and after a while, that primary setup that we, what we articulate earlier is gone. Even that is what we are witnessing, that beauty, bounty, perfection, abundance, variety, beauty, order, art, balance, symmetry, this first setup, which is where that setup is anchored with education, anchored with our thinking mind. Thinking mind, the first setup is praise. There is an element of blame, but it is enough that blame so that that praise become more praise. MashaAllah. Hmm? So that setup has been well prepared in a way that I will stay here 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, whatever years that we've been given as the result, as the outcome in that stay <coughs> facing those setup that first impact, stimulate that thinking, that feeling and as a result of that thinking and feeling, it will direct ourselves towards acting equal to that feeling and acting. So we begin to see those arrangements, those setup is not for nothing. There is intentional. There is a purpose. Hmm? That intentional. Because the center of that setup 
never free from intentional. So therefore, we experience what we experience equal to that intention. Again, that thinking, feeling, acting, set up, life, praise, blame, centralize with that intent. We are surrounding with intent. Hmm? So that through education, through that call, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. That Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. That Hayya ala al-Salah, Hayya ala al-Salah, Hayya ala al-Falah, Hayya ala al-Falah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illa Allah. That call. That reality that connect towards that setup. Praise, <coughs> intention, thinking, feeling, acting. If we are aware of that and hold that awareness, that awareness that we hold to the point, it stay with us. As a result, it reinforce. But that conscious, that aware, that thinking, that knowledge, knowledge result in intention. What spark knowledge is contemplation. The ending of that knowledge contemplation will come to that conclusion of that knowledge is intent. So knowledge build intention. Intention, when it get strong, it become Attention. Attention when it becomes strong, it becomes conscious aware. Conscious aware when it becomes strong, you start to experience and feel equal towards that what you conscious aware, equal towards what you place your attention equal to us where you place your intention, equal to us that knowledge, equal to us that thinking, contemplation. Yes? So we see that sequence and that call, that hayya ala salah, hayya ala salah, come to perform, come to do that activity, that action. That action is very much connected to us. That setup, because if you're witnessing that reality of praise, the nature of praise, it stimulates the reality, the reality of that praise. And when it stim stimulates that praise aspect, you want to express. And that expression necessitates three aspects, articulation and action. And the reality of that call, Hayya ala salah, is to come to that center of that praise, expression of that peak, the most top of all praise is that salah. After shahada, is salah. And shahada is the aspect of articulation. 
and articulation is connected to that contemplation and that contemplation is connected to affirmation what we have accept believe surrender to be true and that become intent intent attend attend become conscious aware experience feeling and that experience feeling is whereby you want it drive is drive force because experience feeling is the strongest drive force in human psyche that's charge knowing without feeling that lacking of wisdom knowledge with wisdom knowledge that arrived towards wisdom hikmah whereby what you know there is a charge equal to what you know that's called wisdom hikmah not just that you you know that you embodied that in your conscious mind but also you witness that what you know and also you experience that what you know so to know to see that witnessing and to feel what you see witness and what you know so to know to see to feel that al mulyakin ainul yakin haqqul yakin the alignment that direct alignment is constant activated when that direct alignment activate affirm then you will lead yourself to a tahqiq tahqiq is the idea that <clears throat> what you come to expose or come to know in life is at the level of flesh and blood is your breathing is your witnessing is your hearing is your qudra irada ilm hayat sama basar kalam the seven quality is in alignment with that greater reality of la qudratun la iradatun la ilmun la hayyun la sami'un la basirun la mutakallimun the reality of mutakallimun speech ta'alluq dilalah because speech the function of speech it explain things and that explanation it become clear and that clarity become two that clarity either you reject or you affirm you reject what become clear to you because there is an element of manfa there's an element of benefit there is an element of greatness in it there is an element of that bring you progress success happy joy security safety happy joy and peace and ease that's connect to acceptance anything that not in alignment with that you reject <coughs> so that thinking spark knowledge knowledge as we say it will bring to that ground of intention intention in other word that's what you incline that's what you want to do that's what you want that want that desire yeah where in our tradition we call them ikhtiyar juz'iyah yeah ikhtiyar juz'iyah Yeah, in the position of i'tiqad al sunnah wal jamaah we call the istilah ikhtiyar juz'i 
Yeah? We have that, been given that capacity, that ability to choose. Okay? And that choice, that choose, you incline to something, you select within the two. Because you cannot talk about choice if there's no varieties. Hmm? That's why ma'rifataini before you come towards that ma'rifatan. Hmm? Ma'rifataini you're facing more than one that two and through that two you select the best. That's contemplation. You you contemplate, you think, any that you, anything that we contemplate or we think about, because we are facing that two aspect, and that two aspect, we want to select the best. And that the best is always about bring about manfa and away from dar, from harm. We are constantly, our thinking, feeling, and acting, whatever that we do, all at the center anchored, attracting good and dafa, hmm? jalb, to pull the good and to push away anything that harm, anything that bad. That is something natural, and that's very much connected to that thinking and that thinking very much connect to us the whole setup of this place to enhance that to reinforce that okay that setup that praise that we talk hmm? so that as time pass by right it should get it should get stronger but if it's not getting stronger, rather it become weaker. So which means we have divert our, our attention away from that reality. What we described just now is what it is, is reality. Yes, what we described just now is it is. Hmm? It's a good place to, to stay longer there. <laughs> hmm? But easy get distracted, isn't it? The age of distraction. Hmm? One of the meaning that we, when we say, A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim, seek refuge yeah, in Allah from that satans. Why that? Why that seek refuge? Four elements. First, vain enemy. Recognition of that enemy. Hmm? Adu, Adu and Mubin, the Satans. And then, aware of that, he's, he's have the element of envy. That is one of his character, quality of Satan is envy. Okay, and then, there is an element of spying. So, envy. Spying. Before that is enemy. Enemy, envy, spying. And the fourth quality of Saturn, it is about wanting to take, to take our attention. Yeah, we talk about attention just now, isn't it? That intent, attention, get strong, become conscious, conscious being. Yeah, that conscious being built from where? Hmm? Intent. Intent built from where? Knowledge. Hmm? The peak of the intention, you can hold long period of time. Long period of time, you can hold that focused attention. <clears throat> and the moment that takes place, it develops conscious. And we are conscious being. But the question is, conscious towards what? Hmm? Is the conscious 
is with him hmm? or other than him masiw allah that conscious element <clears throat> towards what keep the conscious with him yeah then <coughs> situation circumstances situation circumstances will not change <clears throat> that reality because the nature of that conscious and circumstances it is always change huduthu alalami bi asri change but if the conscious is with him the external situation can change and it's been designed to change okay we speak can speak all the time <laughs> sometime at some point you're going to stop hmm? but conscious never stop conscious never stop yes it continues isn't it even though the speech can stop but the conscious maintain and sustain so if the conscious is with him situation circumstances that changing it doesn't matter anymore but if the conscious is with that second nature <clears throat> not the primary the secondary and the nature of secondary it always always going to change if our conscious is with that secondary purely when that change what will happen you change too then hmm? now if that change you change too there's no settlement because the heart human being is looking for that settlement to settle to find that home yeah once you find that now that settlement is there situation circumstances that you find changing doesn't matter you've been designed to change so those changing it will not make you weak now you come to that weak and strong because contrast contrast of weak is, is strong <clears throat> so yes there is an aspect of weakness al ajz wal faqr impotent weak and poverty in need yeah one aspect but the greater aspect which that impotent weak poverty in need reflect is opposite of that which is al ajz impotent weak it reflect al qadir yeah al faqr poverty in need it reflect ar rahman <coughs> so
so that the praise element is reflection of that source that remain to shift away from that that's where a sense of unsettled stop like we're staying here now i'm talking you all listening try to make sense what i'm going to say here <laughs> maybe lost something <laughs> hmm? what's going on here yes because we try to make sense and that sense we want to draw a conclusion and that conclusion that's what we want to hold affirm and that affirm we want to stay there and build that isn't it build that momentum what is that building up momentum what if one does not know what to build what to collect <laughs> it just let you go to the farm you know what fruit to collect <laughs> you bring the bucket collect the fruit collect all the fruit that the kids when they go to the farm <laughs> the rotten one the, everything they collect in one bucket but the one that have knowledge they collect the correct one <coughs> yes they collect what need to be collected and part of that farm that garden of knowledge that's the nature you can't go to the garden look at rotten fruit and fruit does not ripe yet you want to complain and condemn you can't stay in the garden like that part and partial of garden of knowledge okay there is rotten <laughs> there is dry leaf part and partial of that fruit that you enjoy because of that dry leaf part and partial that you enjoy that sweet because you understand bitter part of it but it's easy to complain and condemn and judge it's bitter not good <clears throat> and you forget the fact that you can enjoy that sweet where does it come from if you don't understand bitter how can you talk about sweet Calm. again the contrast isn't it again the aspect that we talk about the praise element there is a blame element perfection and imperfection the setup to acknowledging of that and to bring to that center I never come out from there stay there and be comfortable with that yeah <laughs> be comfortable with that because the real deal when being called yes when when we've been called to do the namaz that is the time the peak yeah or otherwise when we stay outside the, the circle of salah we thinking to go to salah or we thinking to go somewhere and then when you go somewhere you thinking to go somewhere else too then there's no settlement isn't it yeah so the whole of explanation of knowledge really the ability to bring ourselves to that settlement can we settle or if we have arrived to that settlement <clears throat> that's why when we look at muhammad rasulullah mm, muhammad rasulullah which is that 18 affirmation under Muhammad Rasulullah 
okay sidqun amanatun tablighun fatanatun opposite of that kidbun khianatun kitmanun baladatun that's eight already and then the quality of protective quality infallible that's one of his quality ma'sum opposite of that ghair al-ma'sum not ma'sum but ten already and then the four in that arkanul iman malaika kutub rasul yaumil akhir and opposite of that hmm, adamul iman of malaika don't believe in that malaika don't believe in that kutub don't believe in that rasul don't believe in that yaumil qiyamah which is eight and plus plus the 10 just now 18 so when we say muhammad rasulullah that 18 a'tiqat 18 affirmation <clears throat> that we draw conclusion we affirm under that expression muhammadur rasulullah muhammad Ham, that praise. Praise the element again. Hmm? Because education, contemplation, knowledge, existence is very crucial to praise. I see the kids there. If you teach them anything, yeah. If you praise them, look, look what happened to them when you praise them. How they function. That praise. Praise is life. That's why that Muhammad Rasulullah, that praise, Rasul, Messenger, Allah. What is it that the praise and then Rasul, messenger, what message is it? What message? Could be two, good message, bad message. Only two message. But what message that we have already digested in? <clears throat> To the point that message becomes a dominant message in our message system. Never come out. That dominant media. Yeah? Media of Muhammadan. That based upon Sidqun. Not Kidbun. Truthfulness and honesty, not kidbun, not lie. And based upon amanatun, yes, trustworthiness, not khianatun, treachery. And based upon these two, foundation of media, foundation of message, sidqun amanatun, opposite of that, kidbun khianatun, which is the media today based upon which is the loudest voice that been given everyone is engaging with that and most of those media is about praise or blame praise or blame completely opposite going against the real message So if someone constantly plugging in with that message, what we expect them to be? More, more happier or more sad? What life experience should be? Sad or happy? Should be sad then, isn't it? It cannot be happy. Hmm? More sad rather than happy. 
If it's more sad, more fear. Because sad and fear is one sequence. Happy and joy, hope. That's al khawf al raja. At the center of that, that autonomic nerve system that govern your health and well-being, and how that thinking, feeling, acting promote that informa information knowledge. It provoke that state of being. Praise is connect towards that strong immunity. Blame is connect towards weak immunity. Allah. <laughs> hmm? That. That reality. If one bring oneself towards that. Sidqun amanatun. Kizbun khianatun. And that sidqun truthfulness and honesty and trustworthiness, the basis of how we know what we know, the epistemy, epistemology, that what we're talking tonight. It anchored with that Muhammadan, that Nur Muhammad. Sallallahu la ilaha illallah. That Nur. It anchored. Yeah, sometimes we might listen, we might lose track. That lost track is not complete loss. It cannot be taken complete loss. <laughs> hmm? Like you're traveling, you lost you lost your your, your, your navigation is not complete. It will come back online. Don't worry. <laughs> hmm? But the nature of the cell is panic, isn't it? Quick judging. Hmm? Quick judge and panic. And then allowed you just shut down then. What's he talking about here? Can't see the, the relation here. Hmm? Or you stay online. Allow. More you stay there. That's, a, that's falah. That's salah that has falah. And that falah will have najah. And that salah will have rahmatan, ni'matan, takrimatan, wa maafiratan. No doubt. Amal salah, amal salih, righteous deed. At the center of righteous deed is the prayer itself. Yeah? That is the center, that is the core, that capture everything. The peak of one can express, express gratitude, expression of gratefulness and gratitude is salah, prayer. But before that, this circle that very much connect was that. Connect was that amal. The ilm before the amal. The theory before practical. <coughs> so it's not disconnect. It is connected. Yeah? Part of that. Hmm? Part of that. It's not cut off because ilm hal Amal. Ail, thinking. Hal, feeling. Amal is practice. The combination of the three together. The thinking aspect. And that thinking is vast. The nature of thinking mind, the nature of knowledge is vast. Baharul hmm? wasya. The ocean without a shore is vast. But in that vastness, the Prophet come, it draw the line, it put hudud. Ya ayyuhan nas, O mankind, qulu la ilaha illallah. Say, la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Say that. So when you say that, it draw a line in that vastness. 
you draw a line, you create a platform. Here you stop. Otherwise, where to start? That you go to the ocean, you look at the ocean. Oh my God, it's vast. Where, where are we going to start to swim? You ask the local, don't go there. There's a bit deep there. A lot of people die over there. Go this corner here, yeah, safe. So you have to know where to start. Mm -hmm. And to, to judge and to decide where to start, you need knowledge. That's Muhammad. Okay, that alam, alamat, alim. The three root words, isn't it? The alam, this alam, what you can see. If you go zoom in, what is the nature of this alam? Alamat. It's a sign. Can you read the sign then? Sign language. Can you unlock that? If you don't know how to read the sign, then you keep looking at the signboard then. Nice board actually. <laughs> Let, let's take it down and do something about it. Mm -hmm. It does not take you where it's supposed to. Yeah? Because that alam is alamat and the nature of alamat is dalil. And the nature of dalil, it should take us towards madlul. Where it's pointed to. Dalil is the pointing finger and madlul is the place where the finger is pointing. Yeah, so dalil and madlul. Alam is dalil. But where is it pointed to? Are you looking at a signboard as signboard? Oh, signboard. Or are you looking at the purpose of that signboard? Where is it pointing to? Hmm? If dalil does not take yourself towards madlul, surely you become bahlul. Dalil should take towards madlul. Otherwise, become bahlul then. Hmm? Because you keep looking at the dalil, can't see the madlul. You lost it then. Yeah? That's the nature. That's the nature. So, that alignment, that establishment, the three aspects, the thinking aspect, the feeling aspect, and then the acting aspect. These three development, these three progress that connect to salah, falah, and najah. Salahan, falahan, najahan. Righteous deed, and in that righteous deed, there is falah. Falah, there is an element that that activity that what you do, there is an element of utmost good, the result, the fruit that's going to gain from that. So when we mention the, the amal saleh, righteous deed, a deed that contain in it good outcome. <coughs> that's called falah. Like you make a farm, what is the result of the making the farm? You have the fruit from there. No point to make a farm, there's nothing there. So Amal Saleh is like that. Amal Saleh, a activity that you participate, that you engage in, there is an element of falah. There is an element of fruit that's going to come. And not just fruit, rather that fruit will take you to najah. In other words, najah is that when you eat that fruit, you experience that fruit, it makes you strong, not make you weak. Just najah. Najah means it bypasses all the hurdles and obstacles. By having those results, and that, that result, it bypasses hurdles and obstacles. Anything that destroys that amal. Yeah, that's najah. So amal saleh, there is, there is falah, there is najah. 
Hmm? This, those aspects come together. The moment you mention the word Salih, righteous deed, at the root, it have that complete govern. It's not dismissing that. <clears throat> because of that nature, because of that reality, by its nature like that, more we participate, more we engage. Then, as time passes, more it becomes stronger and stronger, not confused. Yeah, not confused. For instance, now, the time that we sit just now when we start to talk, okay, until now, it built that clarity, sincerity, and then synchronicity. It built that sincerity, clarity, sincerity, synchronicity, the three words. Clarity is connected to niya, intention. Sincerity is connected to ikhlas. Synchronicity is connected to sidqun. So niya, ikhlas, and sid. Niya, ikhlas, and sid. That's the building up, which is the topic that we talk tonight. Building up sincerity. Yeah? Building up that clarity first. And clarity is start from explanation of knowledge. Once you have that clarity, yeah, that clarity, it promote, provoke, Near intention. And that intention, it promote, provoke, establish sincerity, ikhlas. And that ikhlas, it promote, provoke synchronicity, siddhakun. Sometimes someone may have clarity, but it doesn't have sincerity. You see? So amal, deeds without niya, there's no ibadah. It becomes adah. It becomes <coughs> custom. Yeah? Once you establish niyyah, intention, now it becomes ibadah. If you have niyyah from adah, you become ibadah. But no sincerity, no ikhlas, it becomes riya, showing off. Because navigation of ikhlas, it rule out that aspect of literal dimension, riya, when you establish ikhlas. Okay? So when that ikhlas becomes strong, you establish siddhakun, synchronicity. So synchronicity, the idea that what you see, what you see... <coughs> Inside the bottle, okay, and what, whatever that you see outside the bottle is one thing. If you see this kitab, what's what been displayed outside the kitab and what's inside is sing. It's not something else. That's synchronicity. Yeah? Ikhlas looking at the purity. Okay, looking at that aspect of authenticity. Siddhakun looking at in out, it match, and not just that, between what you practice and what you do, it sync with the people of tradition, and then it sync back to the source. Okay, not just looking at synchronicity in synch synchronicity, not looking at what I say outside and what I affirm inside, it just match. No, there's one level. Another level looking at that synchronicity, what I say and what inside is the same, and it match with the people of tradition. 
that mutabiqu lil haq and it match with the source match with that the creator what been present through his messenger yeah so that niya ikhlas and sidqun so how do one face that that worldly matter that the dunya so that that once we engage with the dunya worldly matter it does not take the better of us that's question yeah now first aspect that we have to understand once we define any anything that we give definition we're going to respond equally towards that definition okay definition is important how do you define dunya how you define akhirah how you define the seen world and how you define the unseen world that's very important yeah now when we look at the dunya we never define dunya as something that itself we look at the dunya dunya with the meaning of akhirah now once we affirm dunya in that manner never change dunya akhirah so now no matter more you take more the dunya take you more take you to akhirah then <laughs> yes unless you we change the definition so then that definition you can't just define lip service it cannot be then isn't it so obviously but then if you have work upon your affirmation and work upon your focus attention and work upon your articulation action because the talk today what we talk is just revolve around the three aspect of our development development of affirmation which is connect to your thinking mind development of your focus attention which connect to your emotional domain and then development of your uh, articulation action which connect to your physical domain so you have mental domain emotional domain and you have physical domain yeah mental domain is about affirmation is about what you accept believe surrender what is your core values define very clear that's been discussed under the six pillars of iman under i'tiqad under tawhid bas but you sim- simplify it is about affirmation what do you affirm okay to be absolute truth what you accept believe surrender to be true that's it okay so once your affirmation is clear that's going to give impact towards your attention anything that you affirm okay that's going to give birth towards your attention yes and that attention when it becomes strong is going to manifest in your articulation action that's your physical domain so you have mental domain emotional domain physical domain mental domain six pillars of iman tawhid simplifies affirmation simplifies what you accept believe surrender to be absolute truth the absolute reality okay at the core of this discussion in this mental domain you come to that realization of that ultimate constant gift to you yes ultimate constant gift if you come to realization of that ultimate constant gift you is conscious receiving so now it born that's why that affirmation department affirmation domain it develop two side between that unseen and the seen you are the seen and you come to acknowledge of that unseen source and that constant gift and constant gift you are conscious receiving so already it develop a sense of fired wired there two way relationship as a result your focus attention develop 
This is domain of Ahsan. Okay, domain of emotional, domain of Ahsan, domain of one. One means that one, uh, one arkan, one pillars of Ahsan is focus attention. Okay, so more you develop focus attention, it will give birth to us the third domain, which is domain of physical domain, which connects to articulation action. Yeah? <coughs> so when you combine <coughs> these three, affirmation, attention, articulation action, it gives birth physical reality equals spiritual reality. That's your question just now. The dunya become akhirah. غفر الله له ولوالديه ولجميع المسلمين بجاه سيد الأنبياء المرسلين وأولئك. نفعنا الله به وإياكم كما نفع بأصله أنه جواد كريم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي. وأن يجعله خالصا لوجه الكريم والسبب لفوز بجنة النعيم. الفاتحة. 